Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life and as I told you in this morning's video, I would get back to you guys with a little more info on this new three channel carry aggregation that Sprint rolled out to the iPhones uh, this morning and yesterday. It was the carrier update 27.2 and as you can see here, zoom zoom at Sprint LTE plus now even faster in more than 100 markets so this update has been rolled out on both the network and the phones in more than 100 markets um, I've some of you confirmed Ohio like I said Houston I found out earlier only has this update enabled on the sites where they have the Nokia equipment unfortunately markets that were just converted from the clear wire sites can only do the two, two channel carry aggregation they can't do the third so Houston only has those enabled. I've seen Chicago. Mm -hmm. I've seen Seattle. Um, Kansas City. New York. And uh, I, I believe Phoenix also. I've, I've seen Phoenix. But just to show you guys. Here's one from Seattle. I was like, as you can see, Seattle seeing great speeds with three channel carry aggregation on iPhone 7. So as you can see, speeds are at 174 on the download and 14 on the upload. Upload has always been Sprint's weakest point on its network. The network as it is now is not meant for the upload to go fast because more of the network is dedicated to download. But Sprint is in the works to also adding carrier aggregation to the upload. So pretty soon, probably towards the end of this year, we're going to start seeing faster upload speeds on Sprint as well. So this is really good news. But as you can see, it is 1239 in this picture. So this is lunchtime, probably busy. But I want to say, uh, and I'm not bashing Sprint in any way, but this was probably taken, as you can see, five bars. This was probably a clear line of sight to the tower. The tower was probably really close to this location. That's why the speeds are so high. As many of you know, Sprint currently is still dealing with the issue. As you get further away from towers, you have line of sight issues. You either have slower speeds on band 41 or you drop to band 26 and then overload at band 25. But band 25 is also receiving either a second carrier or in some markets they have enough PC, um, PCS spectrum to upgrade from 5 from a five slice, five megahertz slice to a 10 megahertz slice. So definitely good signs that Sprint is still upgrading and, and they are working on the network. And this is just software related, so you know not too big of a deal. But small sales are popping up. But once again, it is market dependent. If your market is, you know, like a Chicago, a New York, you know, those markets are, are gonna get small sales first. You know, there's no way around it. That those cities have much bigger funding and they have a much bigger need on the network. Just more people, you know, <clears throat> more dense area as well. Smaller cities like for instance mine, we still don't have any band forty one. Um <clears throat> you know, let's say Albuquerque doesn't have any band forty one. Tucson doesn't have any band forty one. You know, Sprint is is working on it, but you know, those to them are considered smaller markets. So those markets tend to get stuff at a later time. So the only good thing with my market is that we never had any clear wire equipment. So everything that they're installing on band 41 is brand new Nokia equipment, which is three channel carry aggregation ready, 256 qualms and four by four MIME on all that good stuff. So that's the only positive that I'm taking away from that. But I will still have here in this market, I will still have tower spacing issues you know, indoor penetration because band 26 is not cleared yet. So I will definitely keep you up to date on that as well. I will drive by that site that has the band 41 equipment installed to see if it is actually live and operating. So stay tuned for that. Just wanted to give you an update. And throughout the week, as I see more of these pop up in different cities, I will definitely also keep you updated. So <clears throat> definitely stay tuned. Give these videos a thumbs up. It keeps me motivated. It keeps me going. Like, share, subscribe. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.